hello good day guys you are welcome to my channel um today i will be treating the neco 2022 agri science practicals okay the specimens that was given number one as you can see is hand fork dibia cross staff cast net feeding throw loamy soy clay soy sandy soy Earthworm, termite, grasshopper, bean weevil, merly bug, animal skin, and thick. Then the last but not the least, round worm. So I'll be running a breakdown of what you might be expecting or what might the examiner might set from this given specimen. So stay tuned and listen carefully. Please, if you have not subscribed for my YouTube channel, this is the right time to click the link on the description below, subscribe on my channel, as I'll also be posting a lot of things that is going to help us out in our exams. So let's proceed to specimen A, which is the hand fork. Okay, so, okay, as you can see from the sketch that I made, specimen A, B and C, the diagrams are shown Okay, specimen A, which is the hand fork, has a handle. Okay, it might be made of wood or metal. Then below it will have the tang, which joins the handle and the tines. Okay, then specimen B, okay, is the dibia. And specimen C, we can see it also there. Okay, then description of specimen A. Number one, it consists of a piece of metal with three or four short flat prongs. The short handle can either be made of wood or metal. Uses. It is used for loosening soil surface or breaking soil clouds. Two, for weeding. Three, for mixing manure. Okay. Four, also, it can be used to um, weed. It can be used for weeding also. Okay, so stay tuned as I share the rest for you to you guys. Thank you. Okay, guys, so continue from where we stopped. Um, we'll be talking about the maintenance practice of specimen A. And under the maintenance practice, we know what we'll do. Number one is clean or wash after use. Number two, store in a cool, dry place. Number three, oil or grease the metal parts. That is, after using, you grease the metal parts. Then we we'll talk about specimen B. Specimen D is the bar, the description. Okay, we can see the description there. Then we can also see the uses. Number one, it is used to create holes in the soil for placing seeds. That is for planting, you, you use it to place seeds inside, inside the word soil. Then also the maintenance, since is almost the same with specimen A, Okay, the maintenance will also be stored in a cool, dry place, clean after use, oil or grease the metal parts. Then specimen C is a cross staff. Description, we can see the description right there. Okay, the uses is, it is used for taking short offset measurements. Okay, maintenance is the same thing. Oil or grease the metal parts, clean after use. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, guys, continue from where we stop. We are talking about specimen D, which is cast net. Okay, this is the description of specimen D. This is used in trapping fish within an area. This method requires a boat or canoe, and the net is cast into the river, lake, etc. It is left for a few minutes and then pulled out. The fish caught are dragged to the boat. So you can see the, um, the diagram for a cast net there. Okay. With the labelings okay please take note of that and also we'll talk about equipment that can be used in place of the cast net number one is the drag net number two is the CN net so take note then specimen E is feeding throw okay what is feeding throw used for okay they are used to this is the material used to feed livestock example poultry cows goats etc it can be wooden plastic or metal Maintenance, store in a dry place after use. Two, clean properly after use. Then, uses of 
of feeding through of course we know it is used for feeding livestock so stay tuned as i proceed okay we'll talk about the properties of specimen f which is loamy soil the soil is dark brown okay it has moderate pore spaces its particles are loosely packed it has a balanced mixture of different soil why is loamy soil of greater value to farmers it has moderate water retention capacity it has high proportion of organic matter it is adequately aerated okay so take note of that then we also move that crops that can grow well on loamy soil okay number one is pepper two millet three okra four tomato five cowpea cassava rice yam etc specimen g clay soil properties these are the properties of clay soil okay very sticky good water retainability high percentage of fine particles etc crops that can grow well on clay soil cocoa plantain banana sugar cane rubber etc ways of improving clay soil adding lime bush following crop rotation adding organic matter and also adding inorganic fertilizer so let's continue okay continue from where we stop guys specimen h sandy soil okay look at the description of sandy soil and crops that can be grown in sandy soil maize millet sodium granite etc ways of improving sandy soil okay you can see the addition of organic matter application of lime and so on and so forth okay then we also come to the differences between sandy soil and clay soil okay sandy soil ha and sandy soil have particles are coarse grain particles are fine grain that's for clay soil then you can see it it is not sticky it is sticky when wet leaching is high leaching is low it is gritty to touch it is smooth to touch it has low water holding capacity it has high water coding capacity it possesses low plasticity it possesses high plasticity it has large pore spaces it has small pore space okay specimen i earthworm okay is classified under biting so chewing incense position uh, possession of mandible and maxilla important stroke effects of soil okay on soil we can see that okay factors that determines population of earthworms we can see that okay then also uh -huh, you can see it also at the right hand side then specimen g termite okay termite is classified under feed pets biting and chewing effect of termites on soil okay we can see that economic importance of termites okay we can see that so write that as we proceed okay so we'll continue from where we stop okay biting and chewing insects the examples okay uh, army worm you can see them boring insects the examples you can see them also then disadvantages of termites in the farm we can see them they destroy wooden handle of farm tools they they build thermatarium which is thermite house and reduces space available for cultivation okay the control of termites destroy the thermatarium spray with insecticides regular plowing smoking or burning general control of pets okay biological control and so on economic importance of insect pests reduces farmers income some are carrier of vectors of diseases reduces the quality of crops renders vegetables and fruits unattractive so let's continue okay this specimen k grass grasshopper okay that's the botanical name and is classified under feed pets biting and chewing crops attacked cassava wheat soya bean maize etc control of grasshoppers it is edible okay use of insecticides so on and so forth specimen l bean weevil storage pears beans classification burrowing and chewing insects botanical name that's it there okay so let's proceed to specimen m specimen m is mainly bog is classified under feed pets piercing and sucking they have strong mouth parts okay called proboscis which enable them to pierce through plants and suck materials from the plant tissues crops attacked you can see there specimen n animal skin okay it is obtained from animals such as goat sheep etc 
economic importance, source of income for farmers, for farmers, processed into leather for bags, shoes, belts, etc. Processed into meat. So let's continue. So we can continue. You can see that specimen O, tick, is referred to as ectoparasite. Okay, and it's on the skin of the animal. So we can see economic importance and so on. Okay. Then also specimen P, which is the round worm, we can see the botanical name, we can see the host, pigs and poultry beds, we can see the effect on hosts, and we can also see the method of control. So let's continue. Okay, so this is the last aspect. Descriptive features of round worm, we can see that. Okay, so take note of everything that I've given there. Okay, then we also have a diagram of worm okay the female and the male so know the difference then also features of tick okay let's take note of that then life cycle of a tick okay so these and many more please stay tuned to my channel okay remember to subscribe like my page and also share my videos thanks and remain blessed